Hey, good afternoon. My name is Royal. I have a question for you. I am a pastor and I have a question for you. Did you know that we are living in the last days? Now, wait, before you turn it off, I'm not one of those kooks. I'm not one of those skies falling. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm not mad and saying it because of all the terrible things that are happening. We're not in the last days because of the battle in Ukraine. We're, we're not in the last days because our president said that there will soon be a new world order. We're not in the last days because, man, there's just more evil than we've ever could possibly imagine. No. We're in the last days because the Bible says we are. We've been in the last days since Jesus Christ was born. Yeah, in uh, 60 AD, just some 30 years after Jesus died and resurrected, the apostle Peter wrote this, the end of the world is coming soon. Therefore, be earnest and disciplined in your prayers. In other words, he says, do your best to be close to God. Because we're in the last days. That was written 2,000 years ago. Jesus said the end is coming. He says, uh, however, listen, Matthew 24, he says, no one knows the day or the hour when these things are going to happen. Not even the angels of heaven or the son, Jesus said, or myself. He said, only the father knows. He said, you know, two men are going to be working in the field and one of them is going to be raptured, just gone. And the, and the other one will still be here. Two women will be grinding flour in the mill. One will be taken, the other one will be left. So you too, Jesus said, must keep watch for you don't know the day the Lord's coming. In other words, the last days are here. They came, the last days came when Jesus was born and and the the, the Christian church has been in the last days since the day it was founded. So we're to do what? Live every day like it's our last. Now that's a good philosophy, whether you believe in Jesus or the rapture or whatever. It's good philosophy to read, to, to live your life every day like it's your best. Like you, you're going to get the best out of your best. People are going to be better because you're the best. All of that, all that's good, good stuff. But Jesus said, look, it's going to happen. So live your life at your best. For, uh, for those of us that are Christians, if we live our life our best, if we live our life with excellence, then what ends up happening is we encourage other people to live their life best, and we introduce people to what it's like to live their lives for Jesus. Hey, this Sunday, I'm, I'm doing this study in Daniel chapter 7. The first six chapters of Daniel were historical chapters. And starting now in chapter 7, it's prophecy. And this Sunday, we're going to be talking about the new world order, what that looks like. It looked so bad to Daniel in his dream that it said he got sick and had to lay down. It was scared him like crazy. Hey, my name is Royal Ferris, and I'm pastor of Life Connects Church in North Euless, Texas. We're in the neighborhood right off Highway 360, Glade and Main. Hey, if you are in our area and you do not have a church home, we'd love to have you come and be my guest. If you are, I'll see you Sunday. God bless.